Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a class in iDocio um, and import some gradebook data as well. Um, I've already got mine set up here, so I'm going to set up a dummy class um, to um, demonstrate this to you. So, um, there's lots of ways of doing this, um, and if you've got Sims, I know that there's a, there's a much simpler way of importing things in through Sims, um, but at the moment I'm going to do mine through a CSV file um, that's held in Dropbox. So I'm just going to close this now and I'm going to go to my Dropbox over here um, and here is my CSV file that I created earlier and this has got all the data that I want to import in. Now um, if you don't use Dropbox you can um, equally email your CSV file to yourself and, and the process that I'm going to show you now you can do this um, through your iPad email as well. So I'm just going to click on um, this icon over here and that's going to give me some options um, and I want to go to open in down here so if I click on open in um, I'm now going to go to my iDocio um, over here so I'm just going to click on that and this will then um, give me an option for um, my import wizard okay so I'll click on my import wizard and this brings up my CSV file information. Now, um, I can just check along here, and we're just saying here that this is my header row. Yeah, so over here, this is my header row, which is fine. I'm now gonna click on continue, and it's asking me where my student name um, is. So if I go back to over here, you can see that my, my student name is just under um, the heading that says name. So back over here, I can just say, well, um, my name is going to come from the heading that is just called um, name. Okay, um, so that's fine and I can continue from there. Now the next part is my personal data. So um, this is the personal information that we're going to um, have for the student, not necessarily in a gradebook. So um, I've got my name that it's already decided um, from, from previous the position so on my spreadsheet I've got a column called position and I'm going to tell it well I want to put that um, with the um, group section of my um, of my personal data the squad number is going to be my ID so it may be that you have a student ID um, number in your spreadsheet um, and then that, that could go with the ID um, and then I've got things like parents email so we'll just stick all of that in so parents email uh, mother's name father's name okay and then the last two appearances and goals now that's not going to be personal data that's going to be gradebook data so I'm done with my personal data now I can click on continue and um, I've now got this gradebook data section here now it's already decided that it wants appearances and goals so I can unselect or select that I want both of those bits of information to be in my gradebook now if I click continue um, I've got the options here to either um, create a new class or append data to a class so I'm going to create a new class okay uh, and and that's my class created now with all of my students here, all my student names here on the left hand side. Um, if I click on, um, if I um, double click on Alexis Sanchez over here, um, you can see that all his personal information is stored there, um, including his email address and his parents' email address, um, etc. etc. Uh, parents' email address is a really useful thing to have um, imported at the start because that makes later on it means that you can contact. Um, parents really quickly and easily from within the app so I, I recommend having parents email address there um, but equally I can have you know all the, all the other information there or even create my own um, fields for personal information okay so um, that's that part done and I've also got my gradebook over here um, with my appearances and goals um, I can name this gradebook if I wanted to so over here if I long press on this green tab over here and go to um, edit I can call this um, and we'll call it match data okay um, and if I wanted to if I click over here 
um, well this is just a page in my gradebook at the moment I can create a new page in my gradebook by clicking on that over there and I can call that um, uh, training data if you like okay and then I've got a separate tab over here with my training data and then this tab over here with my match data um, right okay so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how we can now um, well first of all we'll rename this class because at the moment I've got quite a messy name from my import so um, I'm just going to click on edit over here um, and if I click on that I'm now going to just change that to be called Dummy. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'll just give it a nice clean name um, and then click on finish. Okay, so um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you how you can import photos into the um, into the app itself. So I'm going to um, click on the seating plan over here, um, and you can see that I've got all of my students here in my seating plan mode, and I'm now going to click on this spanner over here and um, that's going to bring up a menu and I want to go to bulk import so I'm going to bulk import my photos now again there's, there's um, easy ways of doing this if you use sims I believe um, but at the moment I'm just going to do this kind of manually um, now if, if I named my files um, to match the names over here, so my um, picture files, if they were named to match the uh, names over here, um, then I could just click on name now and it would automatically match things together. Uh, but I haven't done that. Um, so I'm just going to click on name um, and this is hopefully going to take me um, to where I need to be to import my photos. And there you go. Um, but I could just navigate to there. Um, I'm going to click on multiple files at the top um, and then I can select the files that I want or I can just click on all down here. Um, so I've clicked on all and um, I'm now going to click on download. Okay so um, that will now download um, and what I will then do is manually start to um, drag and drop the names um, sorry the, the photos to the matching names um, so okay so once that's done I can now um, just simply drag and drop the photos to the names okay so um, I won't let you watch me do this um, I'll just uh, skip ahead okay so I've now matched them all up um, I can just click on this cross over here now to show you that I'm done okay and now uh, now all those photos are there and um, it's useful now because if I wanted to create my seating plan I'm literally just dragging um, and dropping each of things each of these things uh, around and, and and I can I can set up my seating plan um, however I want to etc right okay so um, I'm now going to go back to my gradebook um, over here now in the gradebook as you can see I haven't got the photos here at the moment so I'm just going to put the photos in there so I'll click on these three dots over here to open up this menu um, and where it's a student thumbnail, now um, I can either have it as a square photo or in a circle I, I like the circle so I'm just going to click on that circle over there and um, that's going to um, add all those photos in there so I can now see um, the student photos within the gradebook itself okay so that's how you can get started um, with setting up a class in iDocio um, you can then add data to this manually or you can import data again in the same way that I showed before from the CSV file um, you can append data to an existing class um, and, that, and that's fairly straightforward to do as well um, if you've got any questions at all then please feel free to get in touch otherwise I'll see you next time thanks